So much of that earliest knowledge of the forest has been lost in time. But thankfully, not all. In Glen Nant, in Argyll, I've arranged to meet one of Scotland's leading wilderness instructors. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. A man called Patrick McGlinchey, who I'm hoping will teach me some of the skills our ancestors would have relied upon when they hunted and gathered here. <laughs> so it's that shelter then, is it? Yeah. This is, this is my camp. This is your camp. So come on round and I'll introduce you to it. That is a work of art. This is luxurious. Look at this. So what's this? Is this for firewood? No, that's bark. See this stuff here? This is elm. Which okay. elm? Now, we can strip that off. Right. And we end up with strips like that. Then we take the outer bark off. And then what we can do with lots of natural fibres, like Look barks and nettles. It's like I'm going into a shop here. We can make cordage. So this is, this is some of the natural fibres you'll the find in the amazing. UK. Okay. We have mainly oak and birch here. Right. We have some uh, mountain ash and we have a lot of hazel. Hazelnuts were a nutritious staple of the hunter-gatherer diet, one that we still eat today. But there are plenty of other natural forest foods that we've forgotten about. The woodland's full of wonderful material. It's just knowing what you're looking at. Yeah. Uh, we are going to go over that way because I could see a little hawthorn. Oh, now, yeah. The hawthorns leaves at this time of the year are edible. Right. You just got to be careful because got wee spike it's not called the hawthorn for nothing. Yeah. Thorny. Okay. So is don't be a, shy. Is it a trick? Just pinch the tops. Try and not get the twiggy part in. And these these are delicious. See, I don't I don't taste them yet. Should I taste something, or is it is it my palate's just not ready, or is it? You're, you're, you're expecting the pizza or something. I'm expecting an influx infusion of taste. Well, there. you will, because we're going to add to this. Right. Here's an interesting little plant here, Ian. This is common sorrel. Uh, tell me what that does to your taste buds. <laughs> it's a real fizz, isn't it? Just uh, bursts yeah. out. We don't take too much, just enough to, to fill a hole, as they say. Scotland's hunter-gatherer population was maybe as low as 10,000. For them, one small patch of forest like this could provide not just food, but tools and vital fuel for the skill that set them apart from the other creatures of the woods. Right, long strokes. More use of the bow gives you more revolutions. Now, you start to build up the speed, you're going to get smoked very shortly. Now, that wee squeak there was the, the wood spirit laughing at you. Oh, aye. OK. The wood should be warm now. I can see some smoke coming yeah. off, or dust. Just, oh. just take that out, you've got a coal there. I can tell by the smoke. <laughs> well, I'll hold it for you. There you go. See, see, how can you do that? I tell my kids not to play with fire. No, well, so they, they shouldn't either. But yeah. anyway, well done, that man. That was fantastic. Congratulations. I thought I'd lost it that little bit. I just yeah. thought it's not enough. No, no, you, you were on the ball. That's that's really that's good. That's my first fire. It's funny that that's a salad that's got nothing you'd normally get at, normally in the sense of what everyday supermarkets would have. But it's, it's packed full of taste. Yeah. How do you know as ancient peoples kind of keep everything in balance, though? Stop taking too much? Well, they moved about the landscape. They didn't always take from one area, mm. and they moved with the seasons. When we gathered these plants up, we only took a handful of leaves from one, handful of leaves from the hawthorn. We didn't destroy it all. That's what it's all about. You know, what's been so fantastic about this is just that feeling that you're seeing the familiar in a completely unfamiliar way. These are living places. Places that give us sustenance, give us fire. Resources that for our ancestors were 
absolutely commonplace and yet today seem exotic and alien. The woods are just the most wonderful place. Might not go home. Wild man of the woods. Scotland's small, mobile population of hunter-gatherers left little trace. Their footprint in the forest was so light that even after four millennia, pristine forests full of wild animals still covered up to 50% of the land. <laughs> 